the right of the checklist. Dig out and load for 23 down. 22 with the docking angle. Skylab Houston, we're AOS at Goldstone. We got you for the next 16 minutes. Okay, I want to see this time, wait. Let me, uh, give me the TV. Let me give you a brief description as you suspected solar wing one two, right? No, two hard. is gone. Completely off the bird. Solar wing one is in fact partially deployed and the reason that you've got different readings not symmetric between your three solar panels is there's a bulge of meteorite shield underneath it in the middle. And it looks to be holding it down. I, I think that we can take care of that with the SEVA. I, it looks at first inspection uh, like we ought to be able to get it out. The gold foil has turned considerably black in the sun. Roger, copy. Say again, Anko. The solar cell is clear. Hey, Houston. Go ahead. On the vent modules, all the covers are still intact. Roger. The, the covers did not leave the vent modules on wing number one. Copy. Can you tell which way to point this son of a gun from the... Roger. <laughs> Houston, are we too close or too far for you? I think you're real good, Pete. We can uh, we can see that whole wing. Okay, be advised we have all four service module quad lights on from overheat. They're reading 200 degrees. Roger. I find it. Roger, we're looking at it. I assume you're pointing just about in the place where the meteoroid shield is underneath the wing. Is that correct? Well, I'm trying to, but my picture is turned inside out and backwards, and the camera hangs up in here in a couch structure. <laughs> Roger. Okay, Houston, it looks like the meteoroid shield at the upper vent panel on the sand wing has wrapped around it just slightly. Are we? Now, my guess is that our easiest thing to do is just go to the end and try and deploy it. Roger. Uh, Pete, which, from which side of the SAS is the meteoroid shield slightly wrapped around? Is it on the side of the main tunnel or uh, the uh, underside? The other side, Dick. Roger. Can you see a good TV picture or not? No, I haven't been able to give him one. I think I can't point it. The damn spacecraft keeps drifting. I have a hard time getting the thing to... ...related. Well, uh, hang in there, Paul. Uh, the, it isn't real steady, but every now and then we're getting uh, some pretty clear views and uh, we can replay it. And uh, Skylab Houston, uh, we think that's green uh, Teflon on the underside of the meteoroid shield that you were probably coming in on just a minute ago. Yeah, that's what it is. Now, right by the scientific airlock, the aluminum, the gold foil has curled up on the, at the old plus X end of it. Uh, but I don't think that'll hinder any kind of a deployment attempt. Roger. Houston, uh, request you go to peak light on the TV so we can see a little bit better down in the crevice. That's where I've been, babe. Okay, fine. All right, I'm getting awful close to the discount antenna. That's about five feet sitting outside the window there. And, and Pete, one question that I would like to ask you, and, and that is you said you could see the butterfly hinge a while ago. Uh, could you tell us the condition of it? Well, the butterfly hinge is underneath 
the sand swing all the way on the far side of it, and it's up. Roger. Houston, if you read, we're AOS at Goldstone.
Caleb Houston, we're at Goldstone AOS for five minutes. Okay, Houston, how soon to sunset quick? Roger, we're 15 minutes from sunset right now. Mark. Okay, the little tiny strap we told you up by the top vent, it swang around so hard that the screws in it just riveted it to the, to the SAS panel. We pulled as hard as we could on the end of the SAS panel. We couldn't get it out right now. We're stationed keeping on the side of the SAS panel and Paul's trying to, to break it loose, the, 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 the little tiny strip back it in the half an inch wide, but man, is it riveted on. Roger, I understand, Pete, and uh, I'll keep you advised about the time to sunset. We, Right now, we've got about four minutes to LOS and about 14 minutes and 15 seconds to sunset. Okay, uh, I'm going to have to quit pretty quick. Pete? Yeah? I hate to say it, but we ain't going to do it with the tools we got. Houston, we're at one three minutes to sunset. Got your one three minutes to sunset. Houston, you didn't watch it. You're knocking thruster switches and everything else. Get that pole down out of there. Okay, Houston, the problem is the tools wouldn't do the job. And we're going to have to give up on it, but I really feel bad because it's just one little tiny old half-inch strap. But boy, did it rivet itself to the side of that thing. Hey, Dick. Roger, go ahead. And what it is, it's a piece of angle where the sections of meteoroid shield are pulled. It runs right down next to it. It's wrapped around it just below the uppermost uh, vent module. And it's wrapped around it uh, over the rivet line, over a length of about two and a half feet. And that beam does not bend, and I can't budge that strap. This has little strap that's wrapped around it. Hey, where is it? This car? Watch it, watch it, Joe. Where's the ATM? To your right. You are clear to move directly to the right. Right, okay. Get around here and get... Let me get around and start the hatch in. Can I roll to my right, Joe? Man, oh, man. Gee. That yes. so frustrating to see such a little tiny thing hold that baby on there. Yeah. You got the cue card? Yeah. Skylab Houston, we're about 11 minutes and 15 seconds to sunset. We're going to see you at the Vanguard.
Pete Conrad described as running some two and a half feet along the edge of the solar wing beam that the tools that were carried aboard were inadequate for removing this rather husky piece of angle. He was concerned somewhat about the remaining daylight time. Getting down now to about nine minutes of daylight left on this revolution before the spacecraft crosses into darkness. Pass for any further comments from the crew on their success or lack thereof in freeing the electrically electrical generating solar cell wing.